What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman and today's Daily Fix, a PSVR patent for a less than great idea and Nintendo makes an apology. Roll the thing. Brace yourself, a new PlayStation VR patent filed by Sony Interactive Entertainment suggests that the company is working on technology that will allow advertisements to be displayed within the headset. I know, horrible idea, but stay with me. The patent listing from Sony published June 25th shows drawings that offer an example of how a virtual reality advertising model might look. It appears that the ads would show up in the peripheral parts of your vision, in the top corners of the display, or as a banner in the top middle of the screen. The patent describes the advertisements as additional content for, quote, promoting recognition of a given thing or service. Hmm. One example used in the patent is of a user watching a concert with a set of performers appearing at the same time. The technology claims to be able to, quote, detect on which performer the user is focusing his or her attention and then change the advertisement in accordance with the performance of interest. Now this sounds like a horrible user experience, but just remember that patents aren't guaranteed and that it just means Sony is researching and developing this tech. So there's still hope that this doesn't actually happen. I get that there's a lot of money in advertising and I am sure companies would pay for this, but this sounds invasive and bad. Like the time that the U2 album popped up in everyone's iTunes or when all those Aquaspin products played Connor For Real's entire album. That was a pop star never stop, never stop in reference. Anyway, how do you feel about this? Am I the only one thinking ads inside my VR helmets isn't a great user experience? Maybe I need to let my reservations drift away and I need to get with the times. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of drift, see what I did there. Nintendo has made a formal apology for Joy-Con drift issues frequently experienced with Nintendo Switch's controllers. As reported by Kotaku, the apology was made during Nintendo's latest financial Q&A by the company's president, Shuntaro Furukawa. Quote, regarding the Joy-Con, we apologize for any trouble caused to our customers. We are continuing to aim to improve our products, but as the Joy-Con is the subject of a class action lawsuit in the United States, and this is still a pending issue, we would like to refrain from responding about any specific actions. This isn't the first time Nintendo has acknowledged this is an issue. Last year, Nintendo began to offer Joy-Con repairs for free and refunded those who had paid for repairs in previous years. However, it is still a huge issue in 2020. Do you experience the drift? I've been lucky enough to avoid it and up to this point have avoided saying that out loud and fear that it would summon said drift. I know it's pretty weird. I can be superstitious. And that's Daily Fix. I'm Cindy Goodman and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all cut up in the news, check out our final preview of the Destroy All Humans remake. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com, my cat just landed on the prompter. Look. It's okay, I forgive you.